Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of All the Mods 4 in 1.14.4 and I have done some stuff in between episodes. Uh, we traded with some wandering traders, we mined some ores and we explored the nether a little bit. So let's go check it out. So first thing that we made is we made another 64k storage disks. This was getting semi-full, we're at 43,000, so I decided to just make another one and that is gonna last us for quite a while and we can make another six in the future and just fill this up and we probably should be good for the entire playthrough. And I got the things from the Wandering Trader. One of them is the Time Worn Visage, which has Protection 5, Mending, Unbreaking 5, Respiration 3, Aquafinity 3, and Rebounding 3. And Rebounding 3 is basically a, an enchant that uh, teleports the attacker or melee attackers uh, away. Are you another dude? That's the same pickaxe, right? Stonebreaker. Do we need another one? Can we get fortune six, fortune five on this if we combine the two? I mean, we have emeralds. Might as well try it, you know. So I'll grab another one. And I have an anvil here. Hold on. We can get fortune. We can get higher even efficiencies, and miners fervor. Fervor, fervor, whatever it is. Okay, that's gonna be fortune five. And efficiency six. And I'm breaking six. Okay, sure. So uh, if you ever drop by, I would need another two of these for to, to combine with this to get higher levels. But, you know, eventually we may get it. Uh, we also have a super duper sword, which is super, but not really duper. <laughs> because it has Bane of Arthropods 10, which really doesn't help me that much. I can kill spiders probably in less than one hit even. <laughs> and it has mending, it has looting five, which is incredible. Unbreaking 5 as well, and the fire aspect is nice as well. It's not really nice for killing Endermen because they just decide to teleport away because I light them on fire uh, and pretty much cause me issues in getting Ender Pearls. But we have Ender Seeds, I believe. Uh, isn't there Enderman Seeds? There are, and apparently I don't see the recipes again. So if I log into a single player world where I can see the recipes, I can. Uh, then log back into here, and then I see the recipes, which is kind of weird, and it's probably a bug of some kind, but that is what it is. All right, so I did a bit of changing around of how we power things, and it looks like kind of a mess. It's uh, it's Xnet, pretty much. We have this controller, which controls everything in here, and the general idea is these solar panels put power into the power cell. This power cell outputs power into the dimensional cell, which is connected currently to nowhere, but in general, I have the dimension of cell here. I am currently emptying out this battery box, which was our previous power storage. So that is just being um, emptied slowly in this guy, and this guy is currently cooking up a bunch of glass. So the way Xnet works is you have eight channels, and you can set the channel to transfer energy to be a logic channel, item channel, fluid channel, and I think that's it. So what we have here on the first one is we have a channel for power. So this is the yellow one. This one we actually don't really need, so we can just remove the channel five. Uh, and here we are extracting out of the power cell, out of the top here, which is the, where the connector is. And then we're inserting into all of the machines uh, on the upper side. And I don't think we actually would need these two. Or, no, we're inserting on the top, yeah, that's fine. So um, pretty much we're just extracting power to all of the machines. And this... Uh, is the controller as well, which also requires power to run. So you do drain a little bit of power while you transfer the items, but it is all good. And then this chest has an extract, which is this guy, which has all of our ores that we still need to process. And they get extracted into the upper slot of the crusher, which starts processing them. And then we have another connector on the bottom of the crusher and also the electric furnace, because it didn't want to extract out of the top. Uh, I think it kind of uh, functions like a regular vanilla furnace where you can't extract out of the top. So then I set up another channel and we extract out of the bottom of the crusher and insert into the top of the electric furnace and then we extract out of the bottom, uh, I think this is the electric furnace, yeah it's showing as the basic alloy smelter. And then we insert into the chest here on this side, so here we're getting processed ingots. And I've been doing a quite a bit of mining, uh, 
so we have 1.2 thousand iron now, and we have a bunch of redstone, a uh, bunch of coal, I got, also got a bunch of sand, and we also have a bunch of sandstone, and if I'm not mistaken, if we grab our compacting drawer, and we grab, let's say, a stack of sandstone, we can toss it in here, and turn it into four stacks of sand. So that is gonna be neat, and I think it is time that we start diving into building the base, because I wanna have a permanent spot for all of this, these machines, like having them this way is kind of okay, but uh, we need to get it set up a little bit better. So I need to figure out which side of the volcano we wanna actually make as our base, because I set up here on this side and we don't really have a very nice way of getting in here. Uh, let me turn on hover mode just so I can talk a little bit. Uh, and over here, we could put up an entrance and we just, uh, scale this m mountain down a little bit because it's kind of high and it goes up to here So I think I might just cut this down a tiny bit and then we can actually put up an entrance over here This volcano is very awkwardly inset into the mountain where there's no basalt So it would be very difficult for me to get a nice inside going and I noticed on the map that there was another volcano right across this village over here which is still close enough and this guy I think is less of a mountainy dude at least from one side. Yeah, I think it's there's just a tiny bit here and a tiny bit on the other side. And it has kind of a nice face here where we can start an entrance. So I think this volcano might be a bit better. And we also have this entire mountain face that we can use for something if we wanted to. And it looks really much, much better. I am gonna have to clean a few trees here and a clean a few of this uh, stone bits that are dangling out and look very awkward, but I think what I will do is I will bring everything from the base currently uh, over to there, our storage system and everything, and we can actually start digging and setting up the new super duper base. Pretty much everything has been moved over here. I set up my nether portal as well, and I started working on the entrance to this, and I decided to use drawbridges from uh, Tinker's Mechworks, I think, T-Mechworks. So these guys can extend blocks. If we place three basalt in here, this is the basalt flumbu power. We place it here and it does what it's supposed to do. But the weird thing happens when you break it, it turns into basalt cobble. <laughs> because for some reason, even if you have silk touch, like on this guy, we have silk touch enabled. We have uh, 60 basalt flumbu power and I'm gonna put the basalt cobble here, and we get basalt cobble, even though we have silk touch. So I assume this is a bug in blue power. It, the block is supposed to be silk touch, but it isn't. So what I think we can do here is we can replace this entire volcano, possibly on live stream, with quark basalt, because we have a bunch of that in the nether, uh, we can get uh, a bunch of it and the difference in between the looks of the blocks is as follows We can use the b black basalt uh, for deck texturing, but to have it as a full-blown uh, Door here. We would have to set up a 3x3 door with pistons, which would require it to be more uh, um, More I don't know I don't recall the word but uh, more in than out here, because with the drawbridges, we can just hide them super easily. I think you can even uh, somehow replace, isn't there, let's do mechworks, isn't there, there's a fire starter, there's a drawbridge. Yeah, we need, um, do we need the upgraded drawbridge? This upgrade? We might need this upgrade so we can replace the, um, the drawbridge type. So if we do one of these, we just need a couple of lapis blocks. So if we toss one of these in here, oh, that, okay. So that does, so you can change every single block. Okay, 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 no, no, no. Uh, so how does one change? Oh, this is the block that you do, yeah, yeah. So if we put basalt cobble here, it's gonna replace it with basalt cobble. So if we put that there, it's gonna look like basalt from quark. And if we go and just replace everything on live stream, we can just make a simple door like this out of the uh, out of the cork basalt, uh, which is going to be super easy and simple to do. So we can just toss in three of these in each one, and we can say place on up. I think, yeah, that it really doesn't matter. I think I changed this on up. Yeah, it doesn't matter. So we can do three here, 
three here, like so. And now we can have a full-blown door. So the next thing that I really want to get is possibly some elevators. We're going to get to digging out the inside in a moment. But I want to have an elevator in the middle so we can have kind of like an access on top and maybe set up, maybe kind of open up the volcano a little bit. Here, take the top off and then if we uh, get our solar panels and put them on top there, that could be really cool. Maybe we'll even just keep it open because the solar panels have a cool upgrade uh, that I think I showed in the last episode, but uh, or maybe not, but doesn't matter. So they have this dispersive upgrade, which I have read. It basically charges items in players' inventories. So if we have a solar panel very close by to where we have our crafting system and where we're going to be spending most of our time, is gonna just charge our uh, mining gadget automatically and it's gonna charge your jetpack automatically as well so are you drained already close we can we can help it out a little bit uh, by doing one of these there we go so you're gonna have some stuff to drain into uh Okay, cool. So this is almost done, and then we can replace that with the solar panels. Right. So I am going to go uh, possibly into the nether, I think, uh, where we can easily find some endermen. I'm going to go slay some of those so we can actually get um, some ender pearls, so we can make some elevators, and then we're going to dig out the middle part of this volcano and get some actual floors going in. So I'm here at the top of the volcano, and I just dug down in the middle. There was a lava source pillar pretty much from here to down all the way it still going below that white block that you see down there and you can see that there's some sort of other block there i noticed that there are some chests in here so let's turn on hover mode and let's just slowly hover down uh and we have some reinforced sapphire glass here i don't know if that is gonna be silk touchable it is it's weatherproof okay sure we'll grab this and here we can just do this and that'll turn into obsidian and then we can just remove the obsidian like so. So I'll grab all of this glass though. We'll put it on precision mode true just so I don't destroy all of the basalt here. So we can just clear it out very simply like so. And then we'll check out what is interesting in the chest here. I didn't know that this had anything inside of it. So I might be surprised if there's other rooms <laughs> inside of it on other spots, but I... I'm pretty sure this would be the only thing. We have tungsten blocks from Blue Power. Okay, so I assume this is from Blue Power. Uh, oh, no, no, no. Okay, at least it didn't blow up the stuff in the chest. But I didn't know that was a TNT, and I don't know why it triggered. Why did you trigger the TNT? Okay, let's place some torches down so you can actually see some stuff. Uh, we will fill in this little hole here. I don't know if I have enough uh, assault on me to do it. Not really. Okay, that's fine. And this chest here, I mean, they don't really have anything too special, the chests, other than the quark runes, I guess. Uh, and I don't think anything else was really blown up uh, in the thing. But this is a room that we have on the inside. And down here, I set up our first elevator. So this is going to be our main base floor. And the entire thing here was one block to the left. So I was pretty good on choosing the center of this, but I'm going to go from the center on the top. So that's where the lava pillar was, and we're going to go uh, just with that, because the lava pillar goes down here. I think there's an obsidian block somewhere down there. Yeah, you can't really see it, but there's an obsidian block down there. Yeah, I can mine it like so. And then there's more lava. So we're not going to worry too much about it. If we want to make floors beneath it, we can do so in the future. For the moment, we're just going to go upwards a little bit. And I think I'm going to start digging out a room here. Uh, and we can probably use this room as our main central storage and power production, maybe. Because uh, the power production is really going to be just solar panels, to be honest. So uh, we'll see how this is going to work. I might use the builder. Uh, did I not make the builder? I did not. Okay. Because, I th uh, yeah, I think we were missing ender pearls to make this. Yeah, we can make the builder now. If we make one of these, which we require golden nuggets for. Let's make a bunch of those. And we can do a machine frame. And then we need bricks. So we need clay that we need to break down and smelt. 
And there we go, that should make us the builder. Then did I make the shape cards yet? I did not. So shape card, we need a quarry shape card, which is going to require a basic shape card, which is going to require a little bit more bricks, which we are cooking up here. So as we talk, we're going to get more and we should be good on that. So we need one of you. And then we're going to need a quarry shape card, which is going to require a diamond pickaxe and a diamond shovel, which we can do like that. Boom. Okay, and the quarry shape card will replace the blocks that it mines with dirt. So we would want the clearing quarry, which would be, I believe, like this. No? Okay, so that's to, okay, that's to change the clearing quarry. That's glass. Okay, cool. So that should be it. And here we can set up in the shape card uh, the dimensions that we want and we can make a some sort of like sphere or maybe just a cylinder I think would be good and we can set up the dimensions here so I'll figure out a good size for this volcano here uh, and then we can see about digging it out. We are going to need some way to store the items that the builder is going to produce. So I'm going to make a modular storage and then we can make some storage modules. I assume these are upgraded. Lovely. So tier two. Tier three requires a couple of gold blocks and a couple of quartz blocks. Not a problem. So let's get that one done. And then the tier four is infused diamonds, which we can do. A uh, chest and two blocks of diamond. I think we have enough for that, even though we probably don't need the tier four, but you know what? It is gonna be a nice addition to have. Okay, so tier four storage module. So we can then take this and toss, I believe, this in here. So this will store 500 stacks of different types of blocks, okay? Uh, so we can take our modular storage that disappeared. Oh, it was lag, okay? So we can take it over here. We're gonna place it right on top and we're gonna put this guy in here like so. So that should store the items. We need some power for this quarry. So I'm gonna set this cell to be auto output and this should charge this guy up and let's see if uh, we're gonna say do a single run and stop uh, and that should be good there we go it's gonna dig down a little bit but it's fine and just a whole lot of lag and a whole lot of loudness but it is doing its thing we're getting a cylinder that is going to be made for us, which is actually at a perfect height for a basement. We can put it in the floor and then have three blocks of gap. That, uh, that could have been more perfectly planned, but that is going to be our cylinder. I left some gaps here so we can put maybe staircases down or something, which actually we won't need to because we're going to have uh, an elevator in the middle. But I left sides open so we can add rooms pretty much. And this is going to be our entrance room. Uh, and that is uh, pretty cool. So we got a bunch of basalt cobble, a bit of coal, a bit of copper ore, a bunch of dirt, a whole lot of dirt, uh, and some other things which I will clear out and toss into our storage system and just get stored up like this. And then we can grab the basalt cobble. I wanna see how much we got. Oh, it's just that, okay. Uh, we can toss that in our smelter to get turned into regular basalt. I think we're gonna be just building with um, Cork basalt anyway uh, on the inside because it looks I think a little bit better and we're gonna use this blue power basalt to uh, texturize uh, the walls and the floors and all that good stuff okay so over here we're gonna take all of this out and then I'm gonna grab our white elevator and we're gonna smack it right there in the middle uh, for the moment we're just gonna block this hole so items won't drop into it and then we can grab our dimensional cell our builder and our modular storage Lovely. Okay, and now I'm gonna, with the power of building gadgets, build a nice decorative floor and see where we want to set up our storage, our drawers, and all of that good stuff. I decided to put in a marble and quirk basalt floor, and it kind of looks like this, and I am not 100% on board with this just yet. We might change it in the future, possibly on livestream. We might do a bit more building, but at least we have a start for a base 
now and we can at least start getting stuff moved in slowly but surely and getting full-on automation for stuff getting set up so i have unfortunately run out of time for today's episode so this is gonna have to be it and i want to thank you all so much for watching i'm hoping you enjoyed it and if you did make sure to hit the like button and you can also subscribe to see new videos you can support me on patreon as well if you want and i will see you all in the next episode have a great one bye bye